Hello, my name is Walter Brown. I'm the Director of Physical Therapy at Buffalo Spine and Sport Medicine. I have 28 years of orthopedic practice handling people with spine problems and all sorts of orthopedic conditions. This is my friend, Dr. Brandon Mancuso, who's over here at the medical campus and does the same type of work I do, but in the chiropractic community. Okay, so we're here today to share with you some exercise activities that you can do periodically through the day, and also some techniques that you can use to decrease the force on your back and on your neck when you sit or do activities at the house. These are important because we know that overall motion is good for your joint health and your overall health. And so why is this? Well, we know that if you sit all day, if you're inactive, tissues of your body start to lose oxygen, blood flow is restricted, the tissues become more acidic and thus more easily irritated. Think about what happens when you sit for a long car ride or you sit at your desk. You start to develop tension in the upper back, neck, back. How about muscles and their activity? Certain muscles become a little bit tighter, certain muscles start to shut off. So when you sit for long periods of time, your hamstrings get tight, your hip flexors get tight, the muscles in the front of your chest get tight, your neck, and the muscles that basically support the spine and your powerhouse muscles like your gluteals start to shut off. So simple activities will basically help offset this. Our motto for you is to move often, but to move well.